welcome back guys so now you have a tree map that is the one where we had a problem when we are storing that custom object right so i have a tree and in the tree our key is the employee object and the value is the integer object right so if you look at here what you have you have an employee which has a two fields age and name and it has one constructor parameterized and there is a getter and setter and we are also overriding the two string because we wanted to print the data of the object now what happens if i run this will this work this will not work you will get class cast exception saying that your class should be of type comparable right why because your tree map internally it will compare the object which you are storing and when it will try to compare your data should be always of type comparable if not it will give you the class cast exceptions because internally your tree map stores the data in the ascending order so we have seen that how we can avoid these exceptions by implementing the comparable interface in your custom class now we will see that how this can be achieved by implementing the comparator interface right so what i will do i will not write a separate class for the comparator i will, in the same class i will use the concept of anonymous inner class which i have already covered in very details when i, I have started with anonymous inner class long back right now please try to recollect the same uh, information here and i will repeat again so you just write cum com and you write comparator okay this is the comparator here what object you need to be compared you need to be compared this custom object example uh, 15 and keep a reference you just click control and a space bar click on the reference is equal to new and then make the object of anonymous inner class so this is your anonymous inner class a class which has no name we call it as anonymous inner class the anonymous inner class will help you whenever you don't want to implement the interface but still you want to use the method of interface you can go with the concept of anonymous inner class so basically what happens when you create the object of anonymous inner class look at this object you can see that one thing common in both so when we wrote new and comparator which is nothing but anonymous class which has no name right this is looking like we are making the object of interface but it's not okay we are making the object of anonymous class so look at here one thing common what you see is in this object also it ends with semicolon okay it ends with semicolon look at this object this object is started here in the body of the object in the body of the object basically you are defining the implementations of compare method so in comparator you have a method called compare method which will compare a two object but in case of comparable you have a method called compare to which will compare your old object with the new object which you are going to store right same thing here also happens but here argument will be two object right so you can look at here so when this method gets overridden here compare method and also you can see there the semicolon which indicates that your object creation is ending here okay so in this compare what i will do i will this comparator i will write i will write this as age comparator okay i will write this as a age comparator and i will go here i will change to i will change to this as a uh, wrapper class and then what i will write i will write o1 dot get age okay got it so what are the field you have you have age right so do one thing go and change the type sorry here also change the return type of the get age equal to integer now you do o1 dot okay so one more mistake i did here when i am implementing the comparator i need to implement for this custom object okay i need to implement for this custom object actually if you look at the previous example also example number 13 where when we implement the comparable we have implemented for this custom object the object which we are storing in the tree map as a key okay same thing will work here also so here we are storing the employee so here 
you copy this employee and your types should not be example 15 it should be of type employee by mistake i did that so when you are overriding compare method it should be of type employee now you do get age dot there is a method called compare to which will compare your second object get age right implementation is done so this is one implementations why uh, it is complaining it is complaining because we have not added return it should always return okay you are clear till here same thing actually if you go and if you copy paste and if you change the name is, is equal to name comparator so you are always reference to start with a small right with a small name comparator in name in name comparator what you do is instead of age just go and change to the name so this will do comparison based on the name right so either you can use compare to method or there is another method called compare to ignore case it's up to you up to your project requirement whether you want to do ignore case or not it's up to you and up to your project requirement right because it is a string see here it is integer you don't need compare to ignore case but here in the string sometimes people they do use it okay so your comparator is ready your comparator is ready to comparator is ready for you now whatever you have implementations same implementations what you can do that is in this example 15 if you look at this guy will act now as a as a reference in this class okay so this guy will act like a one a variable to this class okay right this this guy will act like a variable to this class and this guy is if you look at this guy is non static even this guy is non static so what we have to do to access this we have to create the object so we'll create object like this is equal to new and then object so we have created the object now now on this reference in parenthesis i can call age comparator i can call age comparator now what will happen will i get the exceptions now i will not get because in the parenthesis i am supplying the age comparator because what happens in the tree map if you if you go inside press control click on tree map if you go inside see here you can supply comparator as an type you can supply comparator as an type what what uh, comparison you want to do that so i want to do age comparison so now if i run this what happens my uh, data will will be printed and the comparison it will happen on the age and it will get printed by the sending order so you can look at here this is your object okay this is your key this is the value see age is equal to 20 now again this is the key the value age is equal to 30 again this is the key value is equal to 2 age 40 then again this is the key person object as an key value is equal to 5 age 50 and then again person object as an key value is equal to 500 and key is equal to 500 so you can see that it is getting uh, data is getting uh, in ascending order based on the age comparator now same thing you just copy paste okay and just go and change to tree map one i would like to show you the name comparator also what happens when you change the name comparator generally we pre, uh, we go for uh, name comparator only when if you your project has multiple sorting multiple way of sorting multiple uh, if your project has demand for the sorting based on the different different fields go for comparator okay otherwise you don't need to go for the comparator you can just write one default implementations for the comparable because comparable you cannot do based on multiple fields it always allows you to do sorting based on one field now name comparator so here in the both cases output will be different let me keep here tree map one okay so if i run this program now you can see that one will be sorted based on the age and the second one will be sorted based on the name okay so you can look at here uh, name test one then if you look at what you have you have a test three right you have a test three then you have a test five 
and then you have a test 500 so this is obviously person is the key and this is the value one one thing if you see here is one record got one one record got removed from here it is looking like right you have a test one you have a test three then you have a test five and then you have a test 500 but if you look at the data which we have entered there was test three two times right there was test three two times so now what happens when you use a comparator and when the field is already there when the field is already there in your tree map right what it will do if you look at in beginning uh, for test 3 when the value was 3 object was person what was the age 30 correct age was 30 so here if you look at again you have a test 3 value is equal to what 2 value is equal to 2 age is 30 but value became 2 so why this happened okay and if you look at one more test 3 this test 3 was there earlier because sorting was happening based on the age now in this this is gone this test 3 is gone in the second tree map this happened because if you look at first time this record was there test 3 came now again second time you are doing that comparison based on the name so again test 3 came when the again test 3 came what it will do for this key it will it will try to do sorting based on the test 3 and then what it will find already test 3 was there in the map but the value was 3 earlier the value was 3 what it will do it what it will do now it will replace the value of 3 to the 2 that is the reason in the output you are getting that value is equal to 2 earlier how it was it was 3 and it was 2 so now you are getting that the same object is 30 age has no changes name test 3 the value became 2 that's how it is okay so when you do uh, when you write a comparator logic and in comparator logic what happens is though your key is not duplicate generally see what happens duplicate key is not allowed in the any map classes duplicate key is not allowed but here what is happening is your key is not duplicate key is object okay key is the object object you are using that new operator this object cannot be duplicate but the problem is when you are doing a sorting when you are uh, doing the insertion and internally it will do a data in the ascending order you are supplying a name comparator and the name comparator you have written the logic for the name comparator go and compare go and compare the object based on the name so when it, when it will try to do so when it will try to do so there will be the two name of the object which is same so it will override the value it will override the value right so what you can do to avoid that you can add here let's say 4 and here also add 4 so now you can see that one sorting will happen based on the age another sorting will happen based on the name so look at here test 1 test 3 test 4 test 5 and test 500 right you are not able to uh, see the difference so i will do one thing i will shuffle uh, i will shuffle some data i will write here test 30 for 30 i will write a 30 and here also i will write a 30 okay all right now let's run that because i wanted to show you the difference right so what happens when you do sorting based on the name and what happens when you do sorting based on the age so the first one is based on the age 20 30 40 50 and 500 this is based on the name test 1 test 30 test 4 see you can see that one problem here what i see is test 30 and then test 4 and then test 5 right so generally what happens when you write test 4 test 30 test 1 and test 5 and all that basically internally how the sorting will do uh, for every everything the hash code will get generated it will do a sorting internally to make it very simple so that you can understand by looking the output what i will do i will do a a i will do b b i will do c c i will do d d i will do e e so here we can understand right 
if you write a complex a string th there is a lot of calculations happens when it will do a sorting so you will not make out which a string is bigger because for every character one ascii code will get generated and then it will do a sorting but here you can make out when it is a small string you can make out look at the output now you can make out now the first one sorting happened based on the age the second one the sorting happened based on the name so now you can look at in the second output your name is coming as aa then bb then cc then dd then ee but look at the first one bb cc so since it is not sorting is not happening on the name but yes on the age you look at here 20 here you have 50 because the first tree map the sorting is happen happening based on the age whereas in the second one the sorting is happening based on the name right with this i hope that you guys are clear like how it works like how you can use comparator and uh, you can sort based on the fields whatever fields you want and you can uh, you can make use of anonymous inner class right and uh, you can store the custom object in the tree map by supplying comparator as an argument to the tree map constructor by supplying comparator as an argument to the tree map constructor so with this i will close the video and i hope that you are able to understand like what what kind of data what kind of custom object we should store in the tree map thank you guys thank you for watching this